Okay, so as we can see, the salvaged NCR armor looks normal as it should. No flickering textures and all that. And it's actually taller and bigger because of the Fallout 4 uh, influence Hello. from that mod. So now we're going to continue on our quest. Just a few quick things to note. Um, I have downloaded a couple of mods since then. I have put in the Bleed mod, which is the Ballistic Enemy Damage mod or something like that. Ballistic Limb. Anyway, it makes it makes the game more difficult. Um, I died a lot with that. It's really fun. Um, advanced Enemy AI and Tactics. I have that in my load order now. Um, I also have... I did put the... Uh, I replaced the Reputation Fixer that's back in my load order. And I'm going to fix my Reputation with Caesar's Legion before they send hit squads after me. Um because it's just bullshit that, uh, you know, they came out and assaulted us, we defended ourselves, and bam, you're vilified. Because they're a bunch of snowflakes. Um, yeah, if anyone, if any group in this game is going to be considered Trumpists, and I know everybody hates, oh, political, let me just say this for a second. It ain't the Enclave, it ain't NCR, it ain't the Brotherhood, it's the fucking Legion. Those people... The people who call people snowflakes and pussies, they're the snowflakes. That's the Legion. Look how quickly I became shunned, hated, and vilified by them. It's ridiculous. And considering the fact I had become accepted when I um, did that quest for Volpes and told the NCR outpost that, hey, the Legion is here, you better know you're fucked it's kind of ridiculous um what else did i put in the two fallout 4 for that i didn't really put a whole bunch in oh um more merchant caps and economy overhaul to help with so i can sell stuff and make money because i have no money and uh that will help with that So we're going to continue on our merry way. The bleed mod is actually a really fun mod. I mean, you'll die a lot. I knew what I was getting into with it. I just, you know, I, I had fun with it. You use up a lot of stim packs. Oh my fucking hell. Fancy meeting you here. Piss off. Now. Goodbye. Look me yeah. You went out of your way to follow me. You shitty redneck robot. Which I don't have anything against southern people. I think cowboys are hot, actually. I just... I'm not always in the mood to deal with these, like... Oh, hey! You know, like Victor, and... It's like, I, I can handle him in doses. And I don't like being interrupted by, like, NPCs. Like, that's just that's one of my pet peeves. I'm just like, go away. Shut up. Go away. Yeah, I know I, I'm uh, I'm going back here because last time I went here I fucking died. But we're gonna avoid Calville Bay for now. What time is it? 2 p.m. 2:30. You hear that? That's the uh, coming from Nellis.
I do have a Dean Domino companion mod, but since I haven't done uh, Dead Money on here yet, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use them yet. But uh, I will after I do the mod. Yeah. I learned the other night that the uh, voice actress Mary Elizabeth McGlynn is married to Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom, like Mary, is well known in the voice acting community. Um, he's probably recently well known for voicing Orochimaru. I'm trying to think of who else he voiced, but he's done like a lot of anime, a lot of video games. <laughs> Because I could have sworn that Mary Elizabeth voiced uh, this woman in Final Fantasy X. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't her. Her voice sounded like just like her. And I looked her up on the wiki and she's the voice actress. And I'm trying to remember the character, who the character was. Um, oh, Unaleska. Unaleska. Um, the voice actress who voiced her is actually married to John Demita, the guy who voices... Uh, I want to say Waka, but it's not Waka. Who the fuck voices Waka? John DiMaggio voices... Waka, because it's the same guy who voices a uh, Bender in Futurama. The guy who who Walt Waldor Sockbat from uh, Drawn Together, if anybody remembers that. James Arnold Taylor, he voices a uh, Tidus. Because I always thought it was the gay elf guy that voiced him, because you know he has that high pitched. Here we go. Here we go, little babies. Here we go. Lots of meat. Lots of meat to go around. Lots of meat. There we go. Waste not, want not. Has anyone ever wondered what happens? When you toss a grenade into a uh, into a group of big horners, have you ever wondered what happens? I'll show you. Shit. I want to kill your baby. Killed the mama. Killed the daddy. Mmm. Baby me. Veal. The best. Absolutely. Just save it before it decides to freeze or crash or a combination of both. I mean, things are just going so well in this game. I'm... I'm you know, I just don't want to press my luck, you know, and have it go out the window. So I am using a buttload of mods, but um, I think I'm using a uh, within reason. Oh, I didn't realize that that classic adobe Didn't affected it. that that is one battered ibot it's a miracle it's still functioning no it's not all that wealth is wasted on the strip there are people in freeside who need food and medicine i don't like
like what they said about you, Edie. They're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. Who's this? Hey there. That's some nice armor hey, you got the there. That should keep the powder gangers away. That's some really nice armor you got there, ma'am. Ma'am? 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 Like, you know what? You killed that woman for that armor. I bet you're not even going to wear it. No, that's not true. I'm going to wear it. I like to, uh, accessorize. Are these kids? Ms. Jones? Oh my god. Mr. Williams? What the hell is this? Smith. I'm guessing that's from Ahmad. Obviously. Probably from the interiors. Oh shit! Motherfucker. Really? Yeah, let's put bombs like everywhere. That's a real five head fucking idea. Put bombs everywhere. This is supposed to be where um, Ranger Morales' corpse is. I guess it only spawns when you accept the quest. I guess. I mean, that would make sense, but... Anybody in here? I was gonna put the uh, Bison Steve rebuilt in here, but uh, I feel like it's kind of its own thing. And I want to focus on the vanilla quests right now. But uh, rest assured I will be doing that mod. Even though it's like about a decade old. It's one of my favorite mods. That one in the, the the Zion Trail is my absolute favorite New Vegas mod. It's my favorite New Vegas quest mod. And there's only like a handful of like the voice NPCs in it. I like collecting all the little notes and reading them and following the trail and seeing where everyone went, you know. I like those types of things. Oh, Psycho. Somatic, Attic, Insane.
Here we go. Frag grenade, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just kind of a lightweight in Fallout 3, but when you have him on here, he's like a badass. Go cry hope, no mama. For the longest time, I didn't know that you could actually go in here. Here and now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. All right, Aunt Bitch, where are you? This is totally lifted from a. Uh, Fall out. Ah! That was more effective. So far, so good. Playing with bleed. Spiced up my game. I'm still a pussy, though, but, uh... I mean, I'm playing it on, um... I'm playing it on normal mode, so it's not like... Oh, and I have the Fallout 4 Revive Companions... thing. I don't have Essential Player, Essential Courier. I used to have that installed because, you know... I had already beaten the game, and I was like, uh, you know, I'm... It'll be like Fable, where I can't actually die, but I can get knocked out sometimes. But for this playthrough, I'm not gonna do that.
You don't even look like you're dead. There we go. You know, like, obviously a lot of these buildings in real world, like, you know, Vegas, Nevada, don't look like that, but, you know, the attention to detail that, oh my god, that the devs put in the game, I mean, you can tell, like, what's supposed to I mean, you, you can tell what's supposed to be what, you know. Okay, I'm changing my gun. This takes forever to... I'm using my knife there. I heard you kids have been bad. What's the point in even, like, going through the trouble of creating a mesh and textures and all that for a broken fucking terminal if you can't even do anything with it? Like, not even to have, like, a crypto, you know, like, flavor text message in it, you know? You know, like, oh, they're here, or we were too late, or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost, oh my god, I almost died. But you know, that bleed mod, it works both ways. So, you know. As long as I don't, uh... Someone was a big fan of Sunset Pasparilla. I thought I had the glowing star sarsaparilla mod, but I guess not. But, uh, yeah, so I quickly went back to Gun Network and downloaded that, uh, the new, the updated, I guess they had updated it since the last time I had it, which, to be fair, was probably circa 2016. Whatever it was, I, uh, first registered with them. Well, I need to find a bed, like, now, because I'm... about dying. Yeah, and that mod, that, um, when I was trying to fast travel using COC, it's actually abandoned you, Sony. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are there golden geckos here? This is like way, way, way out of their purview. Oh my god. No. 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 Open the goddamn pit boy. Aid. Yeah, we're, we're on good terms. Thank you for acknowledging that. Oh my. Oh my god. I forgot all about that. 
It's just like, no thank you, I really don't need you to like, fuck with me right now. What was that noise? Your mom. It's really crazy because this room, it's like my old room I used to have back in California. Obviously when I say that it implies and means I no longer live in California because I don't. But I used to. And my room looked a lot like that. And this means more stuff for Butch. I'm all for it. At least the size did. Aw, oh, he's smiling. Jury rigger. Nice. If this means more stuff for Butch, I'm all for it. There you go. There you go. I just unlocked the jury rigger achievement. First time on a PC. The only thing I don't like about Fallout 4, which by the way, I I think it's a great game. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that you have to sit in order to wait. I think that's kind of Though silly. you aren't of the Legion, you've aided us more than once. We acquire many items on our raids, some useless to us, some forbidden. I've provided you the location of a drop box where you can obtain these items. The box will be replenished every few days. Please be aware that we'll assume any items left in the box will be unwanted and be removed and destroyed. Cool. Stay an ally of the Legion and we will share our loot with you. If you start working against us or become an enemy, our deal ends. Sounds good. True to Kaiser. I love Little Caesars. I don't like their stuffed crust so it tastes like shit. Caesar's favor. Boring. Uh, let's check this house out over here. And this is like the normal trail that people would take when first stepping into uh, Vegas. So you'd probably encounter, you know, your run-of-the-mill death claws, your um, fiends, obviously. Those Legion guys are just standing over there. Maybe they'll kill the death claws that come out. No! We're good guys. We're allies. You don't want to fight me. Trust me. Trust me, brah. You have to fight Kaisar for the last time. Kill. See, I didn't kill them. They died of shock. Little cunt. Yeah. That's what you get. That's what you get. You little twat. 
Oh, hey, Wolfes, is not that the same shitty hat that you used to wear? But it used to hide your pretty eyes. It used to hide your beautiful, pretty blue eyes. Man, I'm all itchy. Where'd that other Legion asshole go? Oh, right here. Yeah, there's death claws that come down. You know, when the bars on them were blue, I thought, well, hey, you know, they must have uh, gotten the memo because I used that reputation fixer. Oh, but no. No, they came out and... They came out and attacked us anyway. You've defied me. Oh, now it acknowledges that I can unlock easy level locks. This looks like the Fallout 4 radios. Is that a magazine right there? Take everything. You know, it's crazy how close you are to fiend territory, like when you first, like, you know, come up from, like, Quarry Junction or whatever. I bet a lot of first-time players don't even know that. Like, if by some grace of God, some chance, you happen to go through there and avoid them, but only to wind out, out here and, have, and being, like, right in the middle of fiend country, that's got to be the worst. And I don't think I've ever seen Golden Gex all the way out here. I've seen, like, normal geckos, like... Or not, I've seen like young death claws out here, but not golden gecko. I mean, golden gecko can Man, that creeps me tear out. apart a death claw rather there, easily. You know, the sky. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Okay, I think some of these are. Oh my god. I don't know if we should go in there. Are there just bugs in here? Roaches? Sorry, Steve. Sorry. Please forgive me. For the brotherhood. Sounds like there's a water leak. Oh, and there is a hand. Okay. So you can't do this in a console on Xbox, but uh, I'm a completionist and a perfectionist, which is a, a bad combination. And I just have to see what's up here. I gotta see what all the hubbub's about, you know. Aha! Oh, it's a door leading to nowhere. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, it's all this stuff that the devs, you know, because they put Easter eggs in the game sometimes, and, 
you know, they expect you to like level up your uh, jump really high or something in order to to get to it. But no, it's just. Uh... Are there still insects in here? Definitely sounds like there's a water leak. You gotta like how the music just goes. Oh, another one of my favorite mods is the Area 51 mod. Um, and not the crazy one with all the... The one that has the, uh... The ghouls in it. Because there's two different Area 51 mods. And that one was like one of my first... Fallout New Vegas mod, so... Is that a water leak, or is it... Oh, it is a water leak, okay. Well, good to know that we weren't missing anything, except for maybe a... Bottle of turbo and, uh... Some cat eye. Okay, I didn't really want to... Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so people who are confused or curious, the top level of Basin Creek building doesn't hold anything of value at all. So don't worry. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Still better stuff than the garbage cans and The Sims. You ever notice every time I'm, I'm about to say something, fucking Butch the interrupts me? Arrives with us. It's like annoying. And these kill cams need to fuck off. Am I the one who did that, or is that someone else who did that? I can't even tell. Yeah, I also put the better, the enhanced blood textures mod back in my... You know, because you gotta, um... You gotta play around with things and see... And see what you like... like more, you know? Okay, you don't have anything. I'm honestly surprised the fiends could even get close enough to the building to even deface it like that. <clears throat> I'm thinking now, um, and anybody can correct me in the comments if, if I'm wrong, if they know for a fact, um, the opening cinematic to New Vegas, that might have been a beta thing. Like, that might have been done, like, first, and then they went and did all that, you know, the actual in-game stuff later, maybe. Don't you just love it when sometimes the very easy level locks are, like, Whoa, the hardest? You know, I'm really happy that companions share XP in this game because uh, in Fallout 3 if your companion kills an enemy for you you're shit out of luck 
you know, that's just how it is. That reminds me of Silent Hill. In the apartments, there's a room you go into, there's a mannequin. Or it's a headless mannequin just like that. And it's wearing the same dress that James's dead wife Mary is wearing. Man, I'm all itchy. Dude, shut the fuck up, Butch. And there's a flashlight tucked in like the top breast pocket of the of the dress. And uh Yeah. Stop interrupting me. I get it. I get it, Butch. I really do. You're Italian. You got... You got a lot of problems, okay? 99 problems, so you ain't one of them. But guess what? I ain't your mom. I ain't your cousin. I ain't here for it, okay? Capiche? Please fucking move. Thank you. Every time, every time I go to say something, Butch always opens his mouth. He always opens his mouth, has something to say. Oh, well, obviously, this guy OD'd on MedX. I guess in like, um, controlled doses. It's okay, like when the uh, followers of the apocalypse want it, but uh, when people in the wasteland are using it, like self-medicating, then it becomes a problem, I guess. Okay, scorpions are fixed. Scorpions are fixed. That was intense. He's got my caravanier outfit. He also looks like a fiend. Wow. Wow, look at all that blood. Yet simple nudity will get demonetization. Here you go. So much blood. Vega Sewers, that's another mod that I, that's good, that I like. You got a weird face. Like, she looks like a Final Fantasy X in PC. Dun, dun, da 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 dun, dun.
<laughs> Come on, Eileen. Du -du 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 -du. You need to fix your glove. Na, 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 na. They don't have anything in here. They almost always have free stuff. Come on, Eileen. Baby booby. Da 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 da. Da na 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 na. Crimson Caravan, we don't give a shit about anyone. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You sometimes just want one of those, like, King's Greaser Tufts to just rough you up, like, just throw you up against a wall and just take you, you know? My first cousin used to dress like a greaser. He's a few years older than me. And he had a... He had the... The hair... Style kind of just like uh, how... Butch has it. What the hell is that? Toy howitzer? Oh, this is definitely from the interiors mod. I like what they did with the bath, with the kitchen. I like the tile. What? Diorama, that's so cool. Requires key. If I was a guessing man, I'd say that the key was. Are you going the right way? Shut up, Butch. I get it, you're hot. You're a very sexy guy, but you're really annoying. is probably in here somewhere, if I had to guess. Oh! Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a real five-head move. Take candle? What? Is this part of like a hidden quest? That I'm un unaware of? Take ham radio?
take TV set. Um. Yeah. Why, Why is it letting here? me take all that stuff? So I'm just going to assume that most of that is just junk. So, uh... I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. And if uh, I come across anything that will make me think that I need it, then uh, I'll uh, retrieve them. Well, I wonder where the hell the key is. Hmm. Is the key not in the house? I mean, I kind of assumed it would be. Never smelled like this. Yeah, it did. Because your mom's a drunk. Take lamp. Well, I don't know where the uh, where the key would be. Maybe hidden in the mailbox or on the body of some dead, unfortunate wastelander. You going the right way? Bill and Cherry's house. It's funny that it's marked trespassing even though nobody lives in there. disease whoa that was intense if this means more stuff for why aren't you using your gun I only upgraded it and gave it to you so you know could put it to use. Red Dog Ranch. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. They probably pissed on his skull after they, uh, severed it from his body. Get out of here. Well, some serious fucked up shit went on in here. Severed heads everywhere. A kid's room. person just has a stealth boy lying around. Hello, crackheads. Howdy. I'm just, you know, trying to get rid of my buzz. Trying to shake off my crack high. I've also played Autumn Leaves. That's a really good mod for Fallout New Vegas. Mojave home. Why on earth does that get a map marker? Damn, look at that booty. Look at that booty. That's a great bubble butt you got there, Butch. He swings both ways. <clears throat> Me, I'm just gay, but nope, not Butch. He can't, he don't. He wants to maximize his profits. Have we been in here? I can't tell if we have or not. Uh, maybe you gotta fix your gun. Oh, we have been in here, because that's the one with the, the diorama. I do like that. The no if you notice that, the little whiting details. I like that. Because you wouldn't notice that in vanilla, I don't think. Because I, I didn't. Oh! 
What? What? samples. <gasps> yeah, so uh, I got blown to hell and back, and uh, now uh, we're here. I didn't even get killed by, like, an enemy. It was a fucking random mine or something, a trap set up in the most innocuous, random fucking place that you would ever expect. And, of course, there's no, pit, there's no uh, stealth boy this time because it, the loot changed. Typical.
Yeah, this this will this will end well. The Morrisons, huh? Like Ms. and Morrison? Ew. God damn these shitty directions. Been lost for days. Stop to take a shit. And a fucking squad of NCR assholes happened by. Could have been the damn mall we're at and never did sit right. I gave them the slip, but one of those lucky bastards got a shot on me. Made it through the night, but I don't know how much longer I've got. Can't feel my legs anymore, and I'm so fucking weak. If you want to find this, please at least have the decency to bury me. In return, you can have my gear. As thanks, I stashed it in a burn. Kinfter out. What? see free caps free caps is free you know I gotta say I was so disheartened because uh, I've been trying to mod this, get this to work on my new Windows 10 for uh, for a good while, and I just felt overwhelmed. And uh, yeah, I, I uninstalled it, deleted it, and I slept on it. You know, I told myself I'm just gonna sleep on it and think about what I did wrong. How can I fix this? Because you know, people on Reddit can be helpful, but a lot of times, like, well, you know, you shouldn't be messing with mods if you don't know how to do it. And, uh, while I agree, for the most part, um... Oh, it's on! It's so on! Oh my god. Hey! Whoa! That was intense! You gotta learn, somehow. I mean, how can you learn to mod correctly if you don't ever try? And I'm the type of person, I like to figure things out, I like to learn what I did wrong so I can fix it. And I like to take notes. I'm very, very, very um, compulsive about that. There's like a lot of custom meshes and textures in here. I'm impressed. You know, but I always like these mods that add like I guess you call them slice of life mods or something. Because they just add little, you know, touches here and there, like, uh. 
open up buildings that were originally locked or um you know just things like that i've always been impressed with just these simple little mod and i'm not trying to diminish the work of the mod author because obviously it took time to go through and um you know decorate and design all these interiors and all that and especially you have to nav mesh it and then you have to like go in the geck and make sure your your um furniture and objects aren't floating because i've had that problem Because uh, I remember the Nuka items didn't really come with a uh, the ripper because uh it's got that sound glitch a lot like uh a lot like that uh gun that mod gun i was using Freaked the hell out of me. I thought that was one of the fucking Nuka Raiders.
So, uh, a lot going on in here. A lot of insane, crazy shit. Okay, where's the exit at? Here we go. Oh, good. And that's what leads to uh, the Zion Trail. See, Butch has brown hair. Like, brown blonde hair, see? He doesn't have gray hair. Look how it's reflecting blonde brown. Like a golden brown. my parents from Fallout 3. Yeah, you're canonically part black. So deal with it. I'm glad I didn't shoot you, because, uh, <laughs> look at how he walks around, <laughs> just like a goofy cartoon character, it's funny. Do you even know where you're going? No, Uncle Roger, I don't. I want some pecan sandies. That sounds really good right about now. I actually hate pecan sandies, I'm not gonna right lie. Way. I guess if you dunk them in milk enough that they taste good. if you ask me that one more time I'm gonna tie you to my bed and make love to you and I'm a very gross disgusting man so I don't think you want that to happen Hmm. 
okay. Not this way. The vault never smelled like this. He hit you listen to him? You hear how he bitches all the time? I mean I like him because in Fallout New Vegas, I think he'd fit in. I think Butch would fit in really well on the strip and all that. But he bitches so much. It's like what? You'd like it back in the vault? Well what is it? Which do you want? Make up your mind. I guess people don't like being talked to when you have a weapon out, huh? Hey, Marco. <laughs> he looks like a, a member of the village people. My name's St. James. My name's St. James. You don't look like no James St. James to me. I'm a mean son of a bitch. <laughs> hmm. I'm really surprised some of these buildings out here they didn't try a. Uh... Prim as a new sheriff. You know, putting uh, interiors in them. Hi, honey. sex mods for New Vegas. I was really disappointed in the lack of gay mods. It's like all for hetero people. And it's kind of a turn off. I mean, Skyrim has animated prostitution and that goes both ways, but uh, I think the one for Fallout is called Sex Out and it's really aimed at male, female, and it kind of... or lesbian stuff. It's like, oh, cool for them, but... You know, I like my men. And people argue, oh, bro, you're getting all worked up over a video game character. Okay, uh, well, you downloaded it in the first place. You downloaded it in the first place to see digital titties so I don't want to hear it bruh yeah that's how it is you know I'm really impressed this is like a really stable playthrough so far and I didn't get blown up yet I mean, I did, and I had to start from where I was, but, you know, you live and you learn. You know, mistakes happen.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna put a few more mods on here. Just because I'm never, you know, satisfied. It's like, you know, I, I always want, like, the complete package, you know, I want, uh, I want to experience everything the game has to offer. Oh shit, I don't want to deal with those assholes. But, you know, I tell you what, the bleed FMV mod, um, it's so good. I like that little risque. And people think, why don't you play in, in hardcore mode? Okay, hardcore mode is insane. It's like people who play Kingdom Hearts on critical mode on a level one challenge. Uh, that's, to me, that's hardcore mode. That's a little too much. That's like... Uh, if I want to do a boring as fuck stealth archer run, sure. Or I guess in this case a stealth gunner, which I don't want to hey, do because it's boring, did you hear that? And time consuming, and takes forever. Um, I might have to re-download Roads Redone because look at this, it's all flickering and looks garbagey. Um, but I like Bleed because, and also with enemy tactics and AI and all that, um, it really comes together and makes it a less boring vanilla. And I know it's it's kind of contradictory because I said, oh, I'm playing mostly vanilla. Yes, I'm doing mostly vanilla quests. Um, I mean, it's a modded playthrough anyway, so, you know... Rules go out the window anyway, so who gives a shit? Let's see. Whatever I did the very first time, if anyone remembers the very first uh, recording I uploaded of me playing New Vegas on PC. After I walked away from Sunny Smiles, it got this, like, sound glitch, like, shh, or whatever. And it just sounded really like, you know, obviously there was, you know, a glitch or something ha happening. And, uh, it was more or less unusable. And I didn't play it on PC again after that. That's when I decided to play. Some cons got cornered in the room. Is that a man? The city, but the NCR let them go. He's got a it's really me. feminine face. I thought that was a woman. He's got a butch voice and like a. He almost looks like Cass. Almost. I'm not hating. I'm not judging. I'm just pointing. I'm just commenting. Appreciating. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the most screwed up families in this, particularly the Vegas area, is probably the Hostetler family. Very, very dysfunctional, very, I very heard screwed that there were up. Dragons out here. You ever see one? I'm gonna save outside first because uh I feel like there's always a chance that the game can crash and then you can't you know then you're stuck in like this loop of it crashing all the time. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical. Yeah. You... It'll be easy. All right. This. Take care. 
You're back. Do you need... I have res... Take care. Does she actually, like... Cure me of my rats? Because it didn't... It didn't play the animation where she flicks the needle and all that. Oh, that's cool. Very, uh, mission style. Right? That's what that's called? Mission? Alright, I think I'm gonna call it, call it, uh, quits for here, for now, and then we'll, uh, work on getting that money. 2,000 or 3,000 caps to get through the, uh, Securitron gate. So, uh, ooh, 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 look at that. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, I'm checking you out. You notice? Boring. Yeah. Boring. And then, uh, we'll just, uh, take it from there. <laughs>